。我听说过这个地方的牛肉面很好吃。谢谢你，谢谢你。I'm pro. I have no money to visit the world. No, have no money. Now there's a kid climbing up that way. Bro, what is this path? Good morning, folks, from sunny Xiangyang. See the little garage door directly behind us? The kind of tanny, brown, beigey one? Um, that was like a little gambling den. Wow. It says tea house on the sign at night, but it was going well into the night of people playing a bit of mahjong. Closed in the early morning. Just checked out, got my 100 quai back because I didn't lose the room key. Let's go get us some brekkie. I just bumped into a lady off camera who said, similar to what those guys said yesterday, that the best neuromian, the best beef noodles from this city is near the bridge. The bridge is that way. Xiangyang neuromian, Xiangyang beef noodles. This has to be the spot. Let's get some noodles. Hey, do you like one your meal? Do you want to eat it? Yes. Do you want to eat it? Yes. Do you want to eat it? Yes. 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 谢谢你，谢谢你。我招募过来的，我问了这边本地的人，他们都说过来这里吃。你的中文说的很好啊，<笑>学了好几年。哪个国家的？新西兰的。新西兰，真棒。然后面，等等等会儿再上。好、well, ，folks， this is the famous breakfast here in Xiangyang， which is a bowl of beef noodles. Cost me 16 yuan， which is Two dollars fifty, approximately American. So, uh, yeah, not a bad way to start my morning. I'm glad I'm not wearing a white shirt. I am wearing a grey T-shirt, so it's quite possible I'm still going to make a mess of myself. But yeah, it's not white. I would say I've missed the main breakfast rush. But just given how much seating is here, I would say they get pretty busy. Mm. It's got kind of a slight numbing taste about it. They've put some of those numbing spices in there. That's pretty good. Some noodles, some sprouts. Um, what are these, like yellow beans? Not bad. Folks, that's my breakfast. Bowl of beef noodles from Xiangyang. My entire mouth is kind of tingling with the numbing sensation of the spices. But it's pretty good. Pretty generous with the old beef. So um, no complaints from me. Big old thumbs up. I should say this place is situated in the shade, which is great because it is pretty warm. And there's like a nice breeze coming off the river. So I can see why this place uh, is in a good location just in terms of sitting outside and enjoying your breakfast in the hot weather but um yeah we're gonna go off and find a big old head in a mountain now to get to this big old head we need to take a bus across the bridge which we just kind of ate at i believe the bus stop is just over there but i also want to stop and grab a drink for the journey because my coffee is done Not very cold. This is not a Fuxi statue. Do you know? Fuxi statue. Hey. This part. It's a statue. I don't know. This part is not. This part is not. This part is not. I haven't heard of it. I haven't heard of it. Maybe it's not so famous. 不要紧，谢谢，我查一下。You also may have noticed that every little convenience store here sells both cigarettes and alcohol. Cigarettes are on display, which is very different from New Zealand, where they're all kind of hidden away. There's no age checks, as far as I'm aware. So 
yeah every place sells beer sells smokes and yet I'm not really seeing just like drunks just kind of passed out on the street not really so yeah maybe that's one of those things where people's own responsibility is kind of put into check rather than the government having to look after it We're off the bus. Bus full of old people. Gave up my seat. As you should do. If you can stand, why not stand? Is this some kind of temple? Uh, let's get our bearings and we'll find out if this is going to cost us anything or if it's just a wee walk in the sun. I got a bad feeling about this because the map says where we're supposed to turn right, you're not allowed to go. A big old wall up there. A big old wall. Hey, sir, this is the street. Can you go in? 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 construction efforts is in the side of a mountain there's a 70 meter carved face of a kind of ancient Chinese deity but yeah we're not gonna see it because we can't get in so um yeah I think it would have been pretty impressive there's a big old tower there though so maybe we'll see what's going on there 哎,是不是打了一下,那個後面的那個塔是什麼地方?那就是個塔,沒有對外開放啊。不,還沒開嗎?對,沒有開。哦。那個公園也沒開。啊?對面那個公園還沒開。對面的那那是個博物館。哦
Ariel aren't open now. Yes. That is a museum. Okay. Uh, the biggest museum in the city. Okay. And uh, I want to know when you pay for a bread, uh. how can you pay for it? Now you want to buy a bread, uh. it's uh, money is five yuan. Five yuan. Okay. How can you pay for it? Money? Yeah. Money uh. or card? No. Chinese people. Use phone. Chinese people Zhi Fu Bao. Yes. Or Wei Xi. Yeah. 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 It's very different. In New Zealand, we just we don't have phone pay yet. It's always use card. Uh, please give me a I think. You know, visa. A S B. That's the, New, are, that's the New Zealand uh, bank. Visa is uh, all, over, all over the world. Yeah. All over the world. Yes. Uh, you are, you are an American. You can use it in all the countries in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this way, can you swap card? Yeah, 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 yeah. But no. In China, the dish, shenjin, dash, dish or dash, shenjin, yeah, uh, is not yeah. It is, uh, everyone uses phone now. Weixin or Zhifu Bao. That's you, New Zealand money. Twenty dollars. I don't know. That's five dollars. This is a pound. New Zealand dollars. I think this is the Queen Elizabeth. Yes, yes, yes. This yes. is the Queen Elizabeth. That is a pound. Yeah, but in New Zealand we use dollars. Uh, maybe it says somewhere New Zealand dollars. Maybe I don't know. Let me have New oh, New yeah. Zealand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. See, see this lo leaves it for five dollars. This one should say twenty this twenty dollars. Yeah. Twenty dollars, twenty yuan. Yeah. 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 It must be a USA dollars. No, 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 New Zealand dollars. If you have US dollars, I can use it in all the world. <laughs> New Zealand dollars you can't use anywhere, just New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand, New Zealand dollars is the same. Uh, no, it's worth less. Well, no. one, one New Zealand dollar is maybe oh. 4.5 yuan. Oh. So lower than US dollars, lower than pounds. That is New Zealand. Dollars is higher than renminbi. Yes, higher than renminbi. <laughs> I think this. But in in New Zealand, you take a bus. Like here, just now, I came on the bus. It's two yuan. If I take the bus in New Zealand, it's three dollars. When you when you in the taxi. Yeah, I don't take is, taxi. <laughs> is here. Yeah. Is seven. Okay. 0.5 yuan okay. RMB. I didn't take any taxis here, only bus. Only, bu only bus. Only bus. Bus is 2 yuan. 2 yuan, cheaper. Uh, bus is mm. 2 yuan. And yeah. uh, you are the first uh, New Zealand uh, people uh, I saw in my life. Okay. And I think New Zealand is far away from China. Very far. And uh, do you mind to take a photo for us? Sure. And uh, stand here? Yes, no problem. No problem. Now please put your bag here. Oh, okay, can try, can try, okay. I want to have a look at the photo. Oh, okay. I think you can put it in your shanks or not. Uh, you can delete. Uh, you have read to delete a because this is in your cellular phone. Okay. Oh, let's shake hands. Uh, thank you. Okay. And I think, uh, welcome to Xiangyang. Thank you. Uh, now it is noon. I must to take my lunch. Uh, took my lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Any idea where I should go? I have a train, four o'clock. Four. Uh, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday I saw the Gucheng, the old city. Uh, and in the morning, you are in Fancheng. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So what, what should I do now? I can't go here, I can't go here. Do you plan to stay in Xiangyang? Just how, many, how, many, how many? Four o'clock I'm going. Four days? Four o'clock today. Four o'clock? Yeah. Uh, okay. 
the train in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you will leave Xiang, you will leave Xiangyang City. Where did you learn your English? Oh, I beg your pardon. Where did you learn your English? At school? English. Yeah. yeah. I talk to many people in 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 Wuhan and in Xiangyang. Nobody speaks English. You are the first. You met many many Chinese people yeah, yeah, in yeah. Wuhan City or in Xiangyang City. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Nobody knew English. Only hello. Oh, thank you. Uh, only hello, thank you. <laughs> that is simple English. Uh, <laughs> it is tell truth. English isn't widely used yes. in China. I go to take my lunch. Okay, okay, you go, you uh, go, and, you go. Uh, our lunch. Okay. Uh, it is uh, far away from hell. Okay, okay, you go, oh, you go. Okay. Thank you, thank you for your help. Uh, no. Uh, Although this is closed and this is closed, I'm happy to meet you. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm not good at English. No, your English is good. It's, it's good. Why? Because Chinese people uh, often don't speak English. English mm. isn't widely used in China. But yours is good. Yeah. Yours is good. Believe me, I understand everything. I have. I don't. I don't speak English for many years, so isn't influent or influence. I don't fluent. know. Fluent. It's good. Influence. It's good. Uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, bye bye. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I will. No, no. I will go look around. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes, you too. You too. You too. I think uh, all the all the foreigners are friends to me. Okay? I hope so. I hope uh, so. Uh, bye bye. Thank you. See you. Well, we may have had bad luck getting into these two bloody places, but we just met one of the nicest guys on our trip so far. Yeah, he didn't really answer my question why a guy uh, who's a security guard earning 2,600 kwai a month, which is like under $400 US, why he speaks English, but he speaks English friendly. Yeah, and he didn't even want me to send him the photo. I assumed when he wanted to take a photo, he was going to want to like exchange WeChat details, but nope, just a memory. All right, well, we've still got five hours, but the train station is a little bit far, so we'll kind of make it three and we will uh, find something else to do. No wonder that other lady had never heard of that bloody sculpture statue in the mountain, because it's not even open. All right, folks, just got my bearings here, in the cool shade of the bus stop, and there is a temple we can go to. And it should be finished, because it goes back to our friends, the Mongols. It was built during their Yuan dynasty. That's our plan C. Migong Memorial Temple, that way. We're getting there. What's the odds it's closed? Migong Temple. Right, folks, Migong Temple. Now this temple commemorates a guy named Mifu who was a uh, famous kind of calligrapher and painter back in the like 1000s, Song Dynasty I believe. Uh, calligraphy was one of those kind of many scholarly art forms that was highly praised if you could do it properly. Calligraphy, poetry, painting, these were all kind of seen as virtuous skills to have for scholarly officials in particular, more so than kind of martial skills, which you may uh, see more praised with the likes of the Mongols. Now, sadly for me, the kind of uh, nuances of what makes good calligraphy kind of above my head like when I like to read Chinese I like this kind super clear because it's my uh, second language reading it all kind of fancy and cursive as is on display here pretty much makes it unintelligible 
but um, yeah for those who are native Chinese readers it's probably pretty fancy stuff I got nothing on what that is but the garden it's real tranquil it's kind of hard to believe as you stand here that you're in a city of like two million people nice kind of tranquil ancient Chinese garden ready to sit down and do some calligraphy contemplate the deeper things in life but maybe we'll first go use the restroom then contemplate the meaning of life even the bathroom's getting a little bit deep on us well folks that was the Migong Temple our plan C which costs 25 quite to get into Ooh, kind of short tour around some ancient Chinese calligraphy now it is now 12 o'clock the train is at 4 so we still have a bit of time I say it's time to go in search of some food and then before we head off we head back into the ancient city and see if we can't finish off that wall because I definitely saw part of it that we didn't walk on yesterday we're going to be walking on it in the midday sun which is kind of daft but I doubt we'll come back here so when in Xiangyang get it done and then maybe there's a reason to come back to Xiangyang the Fashion Coast Secret Love Club damn if we'd only gone there right off the bus the bus distinctly went past McDonald's I decided not to get off but to make our way onto the side of the ancient city which is closer to the walls we haven't been to fingers crossed between here and there there is somewhere to eat学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几年了学了好几
but it's very cold. I think I would take 2.9% cold over a full strength warm beer right now. Cheers. Now it's shopkeepers like that that make me glad I didn't go to McDonald's. So if we went to McDonald's, I would have used the self-service machine, I would have sat down, ate my food and left. But this guy not only gave me food and a cold beer, which I also wouldn't have got at McDonald's, gave me directions on one of the best spots to see this side of the wall. So happy days for talking to friendly people instead of interacting with the machines of a great corporation. Right, let's go follow this direction. He said three minutes. It's like a park. And then um, we'll see if we can jump back on that wall. Weirdly, everything feels deathly quiet. Like this is what New Zealand is kind of like at night. Nobody's out. Whereas here, last night when I came out, everybody was out. Nobody wants to come out in the middle of the day. It's too hot. Everyone would rather just have a wee siesta. Walls. How do we get up? Maybe here? Huh, this is a... Uh, this is a giant chessboard for Chinese chess. That's pretty nifty. Now that's the way to take your dog for a walk on a hot day like today. Well folks, we made it up to the tower. Could use a bit of a new paint job. But yeah, from the top of this tower, we can make our way over to the edge of the city walls and overlook the moat in a couple of different directions. You can again just imagine 8,000 Song Chinese defenders here, 100,000 Mongol cavalry, they had their own Chinese soldiers from the north, Muslim soldiers all part of that kind of Mongol Empire army. Would have been campfires and yeah, years, years and years of just sitting in this kind of square block of territory. And now we got apartments going up in the background. Pretty crazy. Now I said we're going to walk around the remainder of this wall. Well, we got two directions to pick from because we're in the corner here, but we ain't going that way because that's closed. So. Down this way we go, and I guess we'll finish up. There's a dude going down grass path. I got no idea, but that's one way to get down. Now there's a kid climbing up that way. Bro, what is this path? It's like the goat trail in 300, trying to get around behind the army. What are they doing? There is a path there, so I guess people climb that way. They got bars around some of the um, the balconies to stop thieves getting it. Someone once told me that if you live on the eighth floor or below, you need to have bars on your windows just to make sure thieves don't climb up. They reckon beyond eight floors. Thieves aren't going to climb that high, so you should be safe. These runs are all one, two, three, four, five, six floors, so they've all got bars. Well, that's it, folks. This is the end of the wall. Cannot go any further than this. The stairs down are just over there. We just walked past them. So, Xiangyang, the great city which it took the Mongols years 
to conquer, but they did. Bye bye, Xiangyang. But don't be too optimistic when you hear the jingle. Get ready to run. Parrot Island Bridge. <laughs>